Uh, I'm Flora Diaz. Um, so we are this. Um, we are directors of the Intrusion, which is going to be shown uh, in the uh, forum Berlinale. So the Intrusion it's a um, it's a feature film, um, no, hybrid feature film um, that uh, talks about um, the territory of Guarulhos, where it is the Guarulhos Airport in Brazil. And um, through the lives of the workers and people that live there and not the people that are passing, the passengers. Well, my name is Juruna Malon. I'm, uh, I'm directing The Intrusion with Flora Dias. Um, I work also uh, as sound designer. And uh, we've been, I don't know, five years doing this movie, six years. Eight years. Eight years since, since the, the beginning, the beginning, beginning. eight years. Hoje faz um ano que a mãe morreu, Isa. O enterro foi tranquilo. Foi pouca gente. Do jeito que ela queria. Aí, cada um foi para sua casa. Eu dormi e sonhei com você. No sonho, eu era hoje e você era antes. Com os mesmos 17 anos de quando você desapareceu. Você me contou da conexão que fez aqui que fui eu que carreguei sua mala, que foi dela que eu peguei a fitinha do Senhor do Bom Fim. Me contou que ficou andando no saguão e olhando para todas aquelas pessoas que eram exatamente iguais a todas as outras pessoas que você já viu. E aquele lugar que era exatamente igual a todos os lugares que você já esteve. Você podia perder o voo, e dar uma volta para ver se se lembrava de alguma rua. Mas ao invés disso, você se sentou e fez aquilo que a mãe ensinou a gente a fazer. No dia que demoliram nossa casa. Agradecer sempre por ser quem você é e estar onde você está. Aí você teve a certeza que a gente tinha se visto e que sim, eu era igual a alguém que você já viu. E por isso eu sou muito especial. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is João Borbobak, and this time we are discussing the film The Intrusion. Hi, welcome to the Teddy, welcome to the Berlinale. Uh, thank you for taking the time and being here with us. Um, so let's talk about the intrusion, uh, the film. Uh, the film investigates um, the Guarujos International Airport and the area surrounding it. And it takes a very interesting perspective of the people who live there and maybe even more importantly, the people who used to live there continuously throughout time and throughout uh, history. Um, what brought you? To, to this area, the two of you? Uh, the f I think the first, uh, the first thing that brought us to the airport was, was our first film. Okay. Because in the, in the Sun Against My Eyes, our first film together, um, we have this, um, this presence of a suitcase which is uh, filled by memories, filled mm -hmm. by this uh, presence of a, of a, of a lover. And uh, so this, it's a story about this man that just lost his wife and then he carries um, her body inside a suitcase for, mm -hmm. a, for a, a road trip. It's um, symbolic and also, um, and also it's, uh, it's about uh, losing someone, the film. 
And so when uh, we finished that film, uh, we had an idea to work again with um, this um, uh, this the symbol of a suitcase as carrying um, memories and carrying um, past and all that. But we wanted to have another approach on that. So that's the main reason why the Ale, the main character of the intrusion, works with uh, with baggage yeah. because it's a it's a way of continuing our. Um, our first um, research uh, not from the first future movie we made together. Yeah. And then we, we, we decided to place this character in the airport and working with suitcases every day. So this was the first thing that brought us to the airport, yeah. this interest in the workers and uh, how they deal with this uh, other people's intimacy in yeah. their daily life. Yeah. And, and 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 then when we decided to do to make the film in Guarulhos Airport because it's the biggest airport in the in South America and it's close to where I live it's like I, wherever I go I go through Guarulhos for um for um, in, a, in a lucky gesture of the destiny I went to Guarulhos Guarulhos to this um indigenous history class course that I was taking yeah and uh, and so I went there and I met and I, I went to this huge party that has in the in the in the city that uh, honor the earth mm -hmm. like yeah. really the earth and um, and so uh, because of that because this indigenous history uh, course that I was taking, I got to know better about Guadalupe's uh, history, and so that's that was that was when the surrounding of the airport took place in the history. Yeah, uh, yeah. and once we went there to make research to meet the union of uh, the workers of the airport, um, you know, knowing them was a big uh, change also in the project because um, I don't know, they make um, the relationship between us or ideas we had uh, before during, during the screenplay uh, become more concrete and, uh, and they start to show us places there and uh, everything start to change and the movie start to be more about uh, uh, the territory yeah i think also yeah through through the workers through the people who actually mm -hmm. live there yeah. and so yeah right can you tell us a bit about this this indigenous history that you mentioned and which is like very crucial to to the narrative as well can you just briefly explain a bit about that about the research, you mean? Yeah, the research that you did and what you uncovered throughout that research. I, I think we had uh, two, uh, two, two main um, paths on this research. One is that the the meeting the workers inside the airport and getting to know how how things uh, how they deal with that presence of uh, many other people and uh, all that pressure inside the airport and uh, another path was the um, the historical research hmm. because um, there are many people involved in um, bringing uh, bringing to the light Guarulhos history because yeah. Even if it is an important city, it's also a small city, right close to São Paulo. So its importance it's not um, it's not seen by everyone. So there is this group of researchers that are not only researchers, but also, for example, the sacerdot, the religious sacerdot, the Babalorishavajin, which who is on the film. Right. 
there's this group that is really uh, concerned in bringing up the Garulus history. So it was also by meeting them, like reading and uh, their articles and interviews, and by meeting them, that we um, that we was we were going further and further in, inside the territory. Also, so yeah. it was. Uh, um, for us, it, it for us it was really rich. It was it was really it's like getting to know this city, this territory, and and um, getting close, like as a as a as a as a relationship. Yeah, and, and I start to dig also you know, the the many layers there who it is there in the territory, how they relate to the territory. I don't know, uh, more routine, you no, know, the every day is work. And uh, so it's a mix of many things. Yeah. We are interested in seeing the territory through its uh, multiplicity. So, yeah. And we always wanted to be a fiction. Mm -hmm. So it was also a matter of uh, how do we put all this details and all yeah. this information that we uh, care about in the film in a, in a way that it's not um, didactical. I don't want to say yeah. didactic. Yeah, yeah that is not very didactic. In a way that is not didactic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not a class or something. And we know there are some moments in the film that this information, they are like really know this and get this and get this but we it was a it was a, a challenge to us mm. how to to um, make all this information that we researched into a fiction film right can you talk a not bit about not totally fiction not yeah, not, not exactly, yeah. right. But can you talk a bit about this process? Because indeed, this is very interesting that the film is very, very layered. There are a really like large multiplicity of voices, um, a multiplicity of perspectives. Um, how did you organize the material into this fictional, semi-fictional narrative? And, um, and how did you approach it visually? I think the 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 main solution was um, writing the characters mm -hmm. because they were the ones that were uh, responsible for bringing these subjects inside the film. Yeah. So we were like distributing uh, some uh -huh. of these um, subjects that were important to us through the characters. Yeah. So we have this. Um, the workers problems and um we have the um, the um, union the union problem the the youth the um, the students the students the um the tejero i don't know how to say in english the tejero is um the temple the religious the temple. temple and the Indigenous. And the indigenous theme um, that was uh, more uh, spread yeah. in uh, in almost everything that we were dealing. So that's why Ale, the main character, she brings that a lot. But we decided to have this specific um, part of the film talking about that because we didn't want the indigenous subject to be read as always in the past. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we wanted to bring uh, the subject to the present mm -hmm. and not only as a memory or, or as something that Ale sees and, uh, and uh, feels in the territory, but something that is, it's, actually is, is there. Is there yeah. 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 today. Yeah, that, that was very interesting in the film, certainly. And you very early on established that you want to create some sort of historical continuity um, regarding all of these subjects um, that you're talking about. And when I was like thinking about the film after watching it with regards to this historical continuity that you, that you build up in it, I was uh, 
I was wondering that if in your view, um, what role can the moving image film play in kind of um, constructing and or unveiling some hidden or somewhat forgotten histories? And if you have thought about this consciously while putting all of this information onto film? Yeah, I, I think once uh, airport is built in a, in a place, normally it takes all the, um, it captures the identity of the territory. Mm -hmm. And people forget about the history that is, is there. That yeah. it's, it's like um, it become a, a big crossroad. Yeah. But actually, no, it's not like that. And we are doing the research as we... Yeah. I think it is important to show people also that uh, there's this big airport, but uh, besides there's many other things. The airport is actually for us is still an important thing, but it's one thing between many others. Uh, yeah, for me, there's there are two things like in a, in a local um, perspective. Fort Guarulhos, yeah. uh, after all this work that we have been done there, it's really important that the, 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 the people from Guarulhos get to know about their history, because I know, we know how much um, they can suffer from not knowing the history because of um, government uh, politics that are not looking at that so there's this uh this responsibility that i think the film uh, will have so this is one thing that yeah. it's uh that it's really important to us like it, and it's a problem a country all the whole brazil i think has this problem mm -hmm. which is uh to delay uh apaga, I would say, uh, delete delete uh, the past yeah you know? Yeah, I was going to say that. Like in a, in a, and it's a second thing. It's it's a, it's more uh, spread to the whole country. Yeah. And, I, and I also I leave that as a as an individual. How how do we? How can we like just continue our daily lives in this um, um, liberal system without knowing the past? It's like it's a perspective of. Um, of getting worse, yeah. yeah, right. So if uh, if we if we know and if we honor our past and our ancestors' um, um, lives and what uh, all they did before we got here, we can uh, we can uh, long for for better days and mm. not only continuing not yeah. only repeating and continuing yeah yeah let's look a, a bit at this relationship one of the relationships that that it's at the core of the film between ali and sylvia uh, obviously it's also kind of seen in the reflection of this inner journey that ali is on um, in the film can you explain a bit about their relationship and how it connects uh, with all these other layers of the film? I, I thought about that lately. And um, especially when um, Teddy Awards and invited us to mm. participate. And, um, and uh, it, it was like, I think like five or six years ago, five years ago, we participated on this uh, script uh, lab and uh, there was this one tutor that put me a question that was really, really a lot. He said, why do this character, because in that time, the character was not really relating, like it was, she was not uh, giving herself to this relationship. She was not, she was trying not to fall in love. She was trying not to, to, engage and all 
And then he put me this question, why, why that? Why not, uh, why not wishing for love? And it, it was, it was, a, a, it's well, writing a film, it's very personal many times. Right. And uh, I think it was a lot related to what, what I was living in back there. But then, uh, but then I, we started to open this character she she might fall in love she she might want this uh this companion this uh relationship this and uh this other woman with her and um uh, and then like a few days ago i thought that to love is also belonging something right yeah, absolutely. so i think this is one of the most things the most important things about ale and that, that's why we love the the end of the film a lot this this message that she gives to sylvia in the end where she's saying where she's saying i am now i'm in another place you went but we're still connected mm -hmm. and that uh, that is something that uh, that it's that it's belonging also it's not only belonging yeah. to a history, to a past, to a territory, but to this, to, but love makes us feel that also. And that's very important for that, for Ali. Yeah, no, certainly. And I mean, obviously it also resonates with this, I don't know, search for ancestry, search for sort of a home or a sense of home, which can obviously often arise from certain emotions or relationships with with other people, or at least that's always like a very important pillar to all those feelings. So, so yeah, I I think that that really strongly uh, comes through. Another aspect of the film that was very intriguing to me is how you handle memory in it, and how like memory is kind of a driving force of 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 the narrative of this remembering and forgetting, like this interesting dynamic between the two, and how um the characters try to remember or uncover certain memories um can you talk a bit about how you approached this theme and how would you relate it to yeah to the medium that you are using that you are utilizing so like film and the, and the moving image i think i think the main thing is uh seeing uh, it's, it's like being able to see something that it's no longer that mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I think that's that's what the film makes. Yeah. Mainly in the hide and seek uh, mm -hmm. sequence. Yeah, that, that's a really fun uh, one. I think that's uh, and also in the geologist and Alice conversation, and they're facing a place, they're facing the airport. Uh, run away but they're talking about what, what was there yeah. so i think this um this capacity of seeing something that is no longer that it's what the film is offering yeah uh, to the characters and to the people that will watch the film it's like um I hope what i hope personally is that when people watch the film when they go uh, outside the theater they will look at things in another way mm. like they will look at a street and try to see what was there before you know yeah. and and i think the the movie shows that uh, memories are not only something that is related to the past but it's a material that is able to change reality mm. so yeah and our main character is, is dealing with memory in this way in the end. I think she's dealing with memory. Uh, in the same time, she's trying to, to understand the, her moment and what she will do in the next step. Yeah. But actually, memory is that. It's not something you put somewhere in the past. No, it's something... Um, Who's alive, you know, who's changing yeah. reality. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting to see how also the film plays with this, um, trying to capture something invisible, even. Um, or I felt at least that very often, like these 
inner quests that the different protagonists are on. They are very often like kind of reflected onto this environment that they are in. So onto the airport, onto the polluted river, the, the forest that's like half there, half gone because because of the, the airport construction. And there yeah. was like this interesting um, meeting of of the inner world of the characters and this and this surrounding this space around them that that's in in a constant flux of change um can you tell a bit about this how you mostly how visually you approached this interesting interplay of the two <laughs> the visual approach you mean yeah to i mean uh, i think it's it, it came very naturally because during the research we are uh, we walked a lot yeah and we are starting seeing things everything that is in the movie it's already there so we, we saw the river we saw the um, in guadulhos you see this most modern airport and just a few meters from there, you see places like uh, the countryside. And uh, so I think we start to imagine the movie during the walk. Uh, how do you say the experience of the lived life. experience? Uh -huh. So yeah. how we relate. And, and then we. I think it was important to have this relationship, um, um, how you say, horizontal, uh, to see things from um, the perspective from the eyes. Mm -hmm. So the, the camera is always in this position. Right. And, uh, and the fantastic layer and the realistic layer, they are like the same. We don't want to make, make a distinction. Mm -hmm. between the two things they coexist i would say they yeah. live together yeah in the same place i don't know if i answer your yeah you, you you absolutely did yeah thank you yeah yeah great um do you have anything else um to add uh, I, I would say that there are some uh, characters in the film that they are themselves yeah like antonia yeah, she's right. Re she's really a worker in the airport. The students. The students, they're also themselves with their their um their their issues and um uh, and this was and also the sacerdoti and also the indigenous people, of course, right. the indigenous indigenous woman women so this is was also a way of uh, bringing um it's not it's not a matter of bringing the territory inside the film but it's, it's like it's it was our our way to really um connect the the desire of making the film yeah to the territory because yeah, it's so there was not there were not there was not a, a film and then the territory and these people's lives and that we brought together it was like the film only exists because of that, because of them, and because of our relationship with them, because of all these walks, yeah. you know, it's because of the experiences and uh, of uh, really living yeah. that for for a while. So we became friends, and uh, I am part of the temple now, and all that. You know, it's totally connected. It's like yeah, uh, yeah and during the research. When we met them, we just fall in love, and uh, we say, "Wow, well, we want them to be in the movie." <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Once again, love is this material that uh, connects. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I think that was absolutely yeah. clear in the film as well that there were the, like these many, um, I don't know, this this collaborative effort behind it to yeah. bring in voices from the actual community who is like living there and. And, and existing there, so I think that that definitely very strongly came came through uh, in the film. So 
Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being here with us thank today you. and talking with us. It was very lovely, and um, I wish you all the best for for the Berlinale and for the premiere of the film. Well, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you so much.